Uh, hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com where I try to use timeline... Pleh! Let me say that again. Take two. Hi everybody, this is Jim at FreeChartVideos.com where I try to use time honor techniques to understand modern markets. This video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts, and I'm certainly not uh, America's next great voice talent. So let's uh, take, take a look at the S&P. Okay, here is a 10-minute chart. Each, uh, each uh, candle represents uh, 10 minutes of trading. And you can see that today um, we had this red line that I had drawn over the last uh, one, two, and three uh, bottoms. Actually, four. One, two, three, four bottoms. I drew this line thinking maybe we were going to trade up in in this uh, in this area constrained between these two red lines in an ascending wedge. And uh, it's kind of a good news, bad news situation because uh, that line broke. So uh, the bad news is that line broke. The good news is we may be looking at something now other than an ascending wedge. This may be kind of turning into uh, uh, a, a consolidation that's going to go out sideways a little bit and uh, potentially... Uh, set us up for a more solid run uh, at, at our target here in the green. Now, there's no guarantee we ever get here, guys. You know, th this could be a video that, uh, that we look at. Somebody might dig this thing up 20 years from now and say, isn't it funny, that guy thought that, that the S&P was going to go to 1340, 1350. And, uh, you know, that was right before the outbreak of World War III. And uh, so, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I know this is kind of being silly, but uh, I just remind you that technical analysis is educated guesswork. You look at uh, what patterns tend to do, and then you, you trade accordingly. So, what happened? Well, today we, we traded down on the other side of this line. I'm going to keep this line here, but I'm going to turn it very pale because I don't think it's as important to us now as it, as it, uh, as it was. And the, the line that I am now looking for the most importance is this uh, pink line and this orange line, because this pink line was resistance for four days, clear resistance for four days, and then that broke. We now have another pink line up here that is at about 1323. This is the new line that I'm looking to take out and obviously we got to take it out if we're going to get up into this green so does this look at all familiar I mean I want you to look at what happened over these four days and I want you to take a look at what has happened so far over these three so th this is why I say it's kind of a mixed blessing because we did break this support we did have a down day today even though it looked like we tried to break up I've, by the way, I've adjusted this pink line just a little bit. Uh, yesterday I had it here, and you can see that uh, that it looked like yesterday we were we were going to move up over that line. We tried it again this morning, and that failed. So what does that tell me? Well, it tells me that there's some strength in the market, but it's just not ready to move ahead quite yet. And uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if. Uh, if we have to come down and test either this line or this orange line before we're going to make this next move. And uh, that wouldn't be that bad, and no guarantee that we're going to do that. But I'm saying that, um, that, that it looks to me like this may be setting up some sideways uh, movement. Then when we do break this out, uh, break this out, <laughs> there, you are, there I go, voice talent again. In a land far away, in a time long forgotten, you know. Uh, so anyway, um, what we got is if we go sideways for a bit more, then we have created more headroom above us 
for us to get to this into this target area without having to take out any areas where we would expect resistance. That would be a good thing. If we had popped out over all of this resistance and gotten into this, then that would have been something that would have uh, that would have been very suspicious, and I would expect that to be something of a blow off top. Instead, it looks like we're just gonna we're just gonna have to gather up a little bit more steam, and then make a go for it. So, what are we looking at? Looking at two areas of uh, of support. One at uh, at about 1309. 1309 is horizontal. Then we also have rising support, which is this orange line. That uh, is rising, so it is possible that uh, uh, this gives us the room to come down a little bit, test again, and then come down again, and then break out for the upside. Uh, again, you need to watch it carefully. We're really close to this. The closer we are, the more you think it's going to happen, but you have to realize, too, that the closer you are, the more you start to run out of uh, potential energy to get there. It's a little bit like if any of you guys have watched... Uh, Ninja Warrior, you know, the warped wall, it's like the guy backs up and he, and he runs up on, on that little dip and just keeps plowing ahead and it's like, man, he's so close, but the closer he gets, the harder it becomes. If you haven't seen it, then that didn't make any sense. So anyway, this is what we're looking at today with, uh, with the S&P. Let's, uh, let's just keep our eyes and ears open and let's see what happens. And uh, by the way, when you get a chance, come visit me at uh, freechartvideos.com, where I'm trying to keep it free, because expensivechartvideos.com does not have a very good ring to it. Take care.